The John J. Van Rood Award was established to recognise excellent work in immunology and a wide range of associated research areas. This year, the award goes to a paper presented by Christina Toffolori, which identified a specific immune signature that plays a major role in leukaemia escape and relapse after hematopoietic cell transplantation. Dr. Toffolori, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Well, first of all, many congratulations on the award. I wonder if you could tell us to start with, what were the limitations that you identified in the use of immunotherapy to treat leukemia, which drove this research? So allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is a peculiar example of adaptive immunotherapy, and it's considered the best therapeutic option for high-risk leukemia patients. However, relapse after transplantation still remains an open issue for many patients, and little is known about its biology. In a previous work, we showed already that after partially HLA match transplantation, a frequent mechanism by which leukemic cells are able to evade the immune system is the genomic loss of HLA molecules mismatched between the patient and the donor that are the main target of the anti-leukemia effect. Since this phenomenon does not explain all the relapse observed, um, in the present study we were interested in investigating whether immune escape could also explain other cases of post-transplantation relapse. So how did you go about identifying the, the drivers for relapse after transplantation? So we decided to perform a systematic comparison between purified leukemia blasts collected at the disease diagnosis and relapse after transplantation. High throughput technologies and immunophenotypic analysis were applied to characterize the genomic and transcriptional profiles and to be able to identify a pattern that was specifically acquired by leukemia cells at relapse after transplantation. We performed this analysis initially on an internal cohort of uh, patients, and then we had the chance to validate our data on an independent international cohort of patients, strengthening for sure the findings that we observed. So what were you able to identify in the patient cohorts? And have you been able to identify an immune pattern for all relapses? So um, we reveal two novel non-genomic but epigenetic mechanisms exploited by leukemia cells to evade donor immune system. On the one hand, leukemia cells reduce the expression of HLA molecules on their surface, thus uh, hiding from donor lymphocyte surveillance. On the other hand, they increase the presence of uh, specific immunosuppressive receptors that tell lymphocytes to slow down their activity, turning off the immune response. Together with the genomic HLA loss rearrangement that we um, previously described, now we are able to um, characterize uh, the relapse in more than two-thirds of patients, but a lot of work uh, should have uh, to be done in order to reach the 100%. So what does this mean for this type of treatment then? Yeah, I think that this is the main point of our findings, because based on each the identified immune evasion mechanism, specific therapeutic intervention could be implemented, like the induction of a controlled inflammatory state that would then promote the re-expression of HLA molecules, or the usage, for example, of immune checkpoint inhibitors that are drugs that are able to um, reactivate the lymphocyte and turn on again the immune response. In all these cases, making the wrong treatment choice could not be only ineffective, but even detrimental for the patient. And I think it's, it's very important. So this study really addressed the relevance of studying relapsed biology uh, since they could really um, drive the design of targeted and personalized therapies. So what does this award mean for you? Uh, first of all, I'm delighted and honored for receiving the John Barrud Award this year. It's uh, the proof that, uh, of the great work we have done, thanks to a talented research team and also to our great national and international collaborators located inside and outside Europe. These awards strengthen my commitment in uh, persecuting my research on these topics, and I think that my career path will for sure benefit from it. So what's next then for you and for your group? Now what uh, we are doing in the lab is to try to characterize how the rest of the bone marrow 
collaborates or adapts to this type of relapse modality and why it fails to enact measures uh, to counteract them. So we believe that therapeutic strategies leveraging on multiple cell subsets and on different targets could significantly reduce the risk of selecting leukemia escape variants, thus reducing the rate of disease relapse after transplantation. Well, Christina, we look forward to hearing more about that in the future. Thank you so much for joining us. And once again, many congratulations on the award. Thank you so much.